So you want to do a SEMrush backlink gap analysis, do you? Well, let me show you how this tool works and how you can use it to effectively determine what's in the gap between you and your competitors in terms of backlinks. Now, if you don't already have an account, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up with a free trial of SEMrush. You can use all these tools and everything. Uh, but once you're signed in, if you go under the SEO tab, which you'll have to use this little drop down thing to see all this, but there's this backlink gap tool here. You click on that, and then you can put your domain in here first. And you can actually have up to three more competitors. But in this example, we're going to be comparing Best Buy and Office Depot. So let's say we're Office Depot and we want to compare our site to Best Buy. We can enter those in, click go, and it is going to give us a whole bunch of uh, prospects initially. So this is essentially telling us that these are the sites that our competitor that we put here has backlinks from, but we do not, right? Domains that point to all competitors, but not to your domain. So that's this, essentially the best option here. This is also um, kind of rating the value of these backlinks. So obviously these are big websites, Amazon, BBC, NIH, YouTube, Cambridge, Healthline, Mayo Clinic. I mean, these are some of the biggest websites in the world, right? And so it's saying, go after these, go after these. <laughs> uh, we can see that we have zero, theoretically, like obviously we're not best, or Office Depot, but in this example, Office Depot has no backlinks from these, but we can see Best Buy has several backlinks from these sites. We can explore further and see exactly what backlinks they have, see more data about like the monthly visits and all sorts of different stuff, right? So that's the first set of backlinks. There's 121,775 here in this example. Uh, we could technically just export this and just start using the uh, link building tool in SEMrush, which I've created a video. You can look that up on my channel. Uh, we could start using that tool to then reach out to these companies and try to get backlinks from them, etc. Uh, then there's also some other, uh, it says domains that point to your domain less than competitors. So these are ones we may have a link from but not as many links as the competitor essentially that's what that means so you can see there's like one link one link one link one link one backlink I should say and then from Best Buy they've got like 18 108 21 etc etc so these are a little less powerful because we do already have a backlink from these websites but just not as many as our competitor so you can actually start the outreach process here uh, but from there we can also look at domains that point to your domain only so these are ones that we have but not Best Buy which is usually just to make us feel good I guess <laughs> these are the ones that are shared so these are the ones we both sort of have a similar uh, backlink profile from and these are the domains that point to only one, and then we can actually look at all of them as well, which is probably going to be less helpful. But the best thing to do is probably use this best option here, because these are the ones that are not going to have any backlinks, but our competitor usually has one to several. And then it may also be good to filter by the authority score. So that's this one here. Again, these are just some of the top websites in the world. They're all ranked like 100, 99, 98, on and on, um, on a scale from zero, or excuse me, one to 100. They're basically at the very top. So those are going to be some pretty difficult uh, backlinks to achieve, typically. Uh, so you know, it may be easier to go after websites that are not quite as big and authoritative. So we could filter things down and maybe go after some, you know, start talking with some companies that are of smaller size and might actually be more willing to link to us in some way. 
Um, but there's all sorts of advanced filters that you can um, that you can use here. Well, actually, it looks like in this it's just uh, stuff like country and country IP. So maybe we just want to get backlinks from the United States. Can also filter through that because I notice a lot of these are from other countries as well. So there's all sorts of filtering you can use here and you can even start adding in some others like maybe maybe we decide Sam's Club is a competitor as well. Uh, and we can even use the chart here to just sort of see what the difference is too. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.